so this this <clears throat> so this video I'll be showing you your five chainsaw uh, related essentials you would want to get when buying your chainsaw so you just bought your new chainsaw you want to uh, go out cutting wood you just started your firewood business and um, you've got forest wood to clear for example you just bought your chainsaw I need to get equipped a related to round to round your chainsaw so in this video i'm going to show you what you have to or i highly recommend getting just after you bought your chainsaw so if you've seen this in the previous videos the 550 xp mark ii don't have to go over it too much and i'm going to show you today what you should get when thinking of buying a chainsaw so maybe include these five objects in your budget and um make sure there's some priority ones like safety ones that you must get when you're buying one so you've got the chainsaw so we're going to put it to a side here so the first object we've got a helmet and this one it's got the earmuffs it's oregon brand it's the probably the most budget one i've, I've bought in the shops it's got the face mask on so you don't um get uh, sword dust in your face which is important because i mean your eyes you need to see and uh, they're very fragile so you want this mesh to against sawdust and branches um, hard hat for anything that falls on your branches wise and earmuffs to protect you against the uh, noise the chainsaw you can buy various brands I mean if you want to go branded like Oregon or as well as uh, steel in Husqvarna they make their own ones um, this is useful because you can use it for other jobs like streaming and um, many other things you can detach the earmuffs if you just want the helmet and the face mask as well so if you want a hard hat you can do that also um, this is like 25 bucks uh, I'll put a link in the description you can find it out and I've just got the, the GoPro attachment on there so when I film videos and stuff you can see what I'm doing so that's the helmet cam so that's what I recommend in your first uh, purchase whilst buying your chainsaw at the same dealer you can pick up a helmet so yeah so it's um chainsaw trousers so chainsaw trousers what they are is you wear them over your legs and they protect you from uh cutting your legs off uh, cutting getting the, the chain to your main arteries so they protect you via this uh wool a high dense cotton and wool i think or it might even be oh yeah, it's uh there you go polyester and cotton class one uh this is a uh, these are Oregon, am I right? Yes, these are Oregon trousers. So they're just uh, high, they're heavy, which is the only downside, uh, but they protect you from the chainsaw. So you put these on and you can, I highly rec recommend cutting wood always with chainsaw trousers. You never know what's gonna happen. So you've gotta put these over your legs. You can put a belt on them or suspenders and they protect you when cutting wood. It can get a bit hot but uh, you can buy thinner ones or just like more specialized ones so they're quite expensive these are around 100 bucks but i mean your legs are priceless you've only got two might as well keep them in good order because uh, you still want to walk and you still want to make money so you need your legs if you need you feel cutting wood so this is what i recommend uh i mean you can the steel husqvarna they do them oregon um other brands specialized brands do them as well which i mean the price can get quite uh, can go up quite a lot to like 300 bucks, but it's there will definitely worth it So Jerry can uh, This one's just labeled petrol two-stroke And uh, Jerry can this is an old one um, I've had passed down to me and it's just uh, to keep your two-stroke mix five liters plastic uh, I mean you can't go wrong. You need fuel. You need a container to fuel your chainsaw with so you need something um, just easy, light, you can carry it around, you've got a handle, uh, you used to have the funnel but it doesn't have any more. So this is what I recommend, just getting um, a, a, a jerry can, an all purpose jerry can and make sure you write on it or tag it saying that it's two stroke mix so that somebody doesn't come along and use it. Is this uh, tool bag. So this is a just a roll uh, tool bag to roll up so you've got the most important your, your t-spanner it comes uh, you need so this is just a multi-pack of uh chainsaw tools 
So just a flat file, your depth gauge, uh, file handle, small file, medium file, large file, uh, bar pick, which is really helpful. Um, this is like a guide, like um, yeah, it's a shortening guide, front, um, file guide, and just a flathead screwdriver for um, if this one's a bit too big, I can use that one. So this, I've got the wooden handle on the main one, which I use for the Husqvarna at all times. Um, I'll the cheapest, cheapest brand because that's what I could afford at the when I started. But it's, uh, it's served me quite a lot. It's practical, it's just small. You can put it pretty much on your belt, on your pocket, and that's what it looks like. Orange, it stands out, and you can hook it on to your like to your side. Uh, these two next items are not vital. But I highly recommend uh, them, especially if you're splitting wood, current wood. If you're making logs, you really should think about getting these if you don't have a splitter. So here they are. So we've got the Fiskars uh, X7. So this is more of a hand handheld, one-handed uh, small axe. This is probably for kindling wood and maybe when you're struggling with a tree whacking the wedge and that's you can get by with that and then afterwards I highly recommend it. it's big brother the x25 the x25 is a splitting axe it's uh, I've had splitting axes I've had mauls I've had wooden handed uh, double sided axes I've had all sorts and this one is just probably my favorite one I've had it's lightweight durable um, really sharp Really sharp, but both. I mean, these two together are uh, a killer team. I mean, this one's just splits. You've seen the video, this one just splits anything. It's really good. Um, it's got some good weight to it. I say at least five kgs, maybe four or five kgs. And it's just it's um lifetime warranty on these, which is actually amazing. Um, could, I mean, these, these are great tools, really. I highly recommend them. So these are my top five tools, top five essentials for getting started with your chainsaw.